still. Even today, even yesterday, the day before, this food. This food is tremendous here in New Orleans. It is delightful, yes. Yeah. Yes. Think of delightful, yes. Sunday morning for the jazz brunch at the much heralded Commander's Palace here in New Orleans. What? How was the experience at Commander's Palace? Last? Well, as a first time at Commander's, oh. uh, I was uh, thoroughly impressed. I was blown away by the, the deliciousness. I mean, the, the flavor was just so rich. Not in an overwhelming way, but it's just that every bite, uh, there was nothing average about it. It was just so good. You can tell uh, all the awards that they have for their food were uh, well earned. Uh, James. Everything was just so uh, delightful. And uh, you were you were given a burst of delicious, rich, uh, southern Louisiana flavor in every bite. I had the turtle soup, turtle soup, the duck duck goose, duck duck goose, and the uh, Ponchatoun strawberry shortcake. Yes, uh, all three were just absolutely delightful. I I couldn't have been more happy with uh, the atmosphere that was in there. Mm. I was very busy Sunday brunch. Uh, but uh, as you mentioned, it was the jazz brunch, and uh, they had some jazz musicians walking around. They had a stand-up bass. Yeah, they yes. had a, a trumpet and a banjo, uh, which were all part of the three-piece band that were going around table to table, uh, greeting everybody and uh, playing either a request or uh, something that they had for them. <laughs> and it was a thoroughly delightful. Um, they played. Uh, what was it? Mitch had requested a song. It's the Harlem Globetrotters theme, actually. Georgia. Was it Sweet Georgia Brown? Sweet Georgia Brown. Right. That was it, yeah. <laughs> Sweet Georgia Brown they played for us. So, uh, again, I'd like to personally thank uh, the staff at Commander's Palace for a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. Commander's Palace bringing uh, honor, respect to the restaurant business. We are, are so thankful and glad that you exist. We're happy to be your patrons. Thank you for welcoming us to your restaurant, Commander's Palace. But that's not all. There's also another specialty, some would say, here in the Big Easy, Po' Boys. Po' Boys! And we went to a place today called... Parkway! Parkway, yes. It's, yes. Yeah. It was delicious. They're famous for their Po' Boys. It's two northerners. It's a grinder, a hoagie, a hero, a sub, whatever you want to call it. I watched a PBS special on this thing, okay, for one hour. It's called things all throughout the nation, but it's essentially just the, one of the greatest sandwiches you could ever have. And uh, I had myself, I had uh, some fri fried oyster and golden fried shrimp. Oh boy, it was fantastic. Five stars on any scale. Meltzers, Weight Watchers, doesn't matter. All the scales that exist, five stars. It was a phenomenal dish. It was a treat to have. And how was your experience? Well, I'm going to talk about a scale. And the scale that oh. I'm going to weigh it on is the scale of justice. Now, this totally did justice to the food uh, industry and the food reputation for New Orleans. You see, uh, I went down, I also had the Oyster Po' Boy, which oh, is only yes. available on Mondays and Wednesdays. Right. Now, today is Monday. Ooh. And so I took advantage of it. I go, well, it's my only time here, uh, and I might as well get the special. It's, it's the rarest of rare. So uh, I got the 10 inch instead of the five, uh, and I don't regret it one bit. Uh, it was a challenge, but I did it. Uh, it was glorious. It, it was absolutely a deep fried oyster. You couldn't beat it. You just couldn't beat it. Couldn't beat it. Uh, now, of course, when I tell people I'm going down to New Orleans to see about a friend of mine, as Kid Rock would say, uh, they were all uh, quick to, to offer up tips and suggestions when you help. You have to go here. And now everybody said two things. Oh, you have to go eat at Commander's Palace. <laughs> Done. Done. And then for Poe Boys, one stood out to me. Everyone says, What? Sorry. Everyone says, Go to Parkway. Yeah. Parkway. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, what? Yeah. I, I mean, I didn't know that there was a top notch Poe Boys sandwich place in there. Nope. There is. There is the king of the Poe Boys. There is. The poest of boys. <laughs> and now that po' boy that you do want some is part way. Well, tell me what. We took the highway to the parkway. By the way, when we got in there, I made my way to the table and parked my ass in the seat. <laughs> 
you see what he did? Did you hear what he did there? I did. Hopefully, you did as well. All right, laugh. Well, our time here in the Big Easy, Louisiana, New Orleans is almost coming to an end, but I got to say it has been a tremendous time for all parties involved, but especially for you laugh because you come down from Chicago. That's and right. Oh, boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> Vintage laugh. Vintage laugh. All right, folks, that does it here for this special New Orleans edition of the Strap Facts Laugh Facts Show. <laughs> and let me just say, John Lee, it's been an honor and a pleasure to have you here in the Thank Big you. Easy. Thank but you. But one hard part is going to be leaving this show and leaving my good friend behind. So I just want to say thanks again. It's been a wonderful WrestleMania weekend as always, and I'm looking forward to the next time. See you next time on Facebook. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!